Good morning on this Saturday. It is time to take a look now at the Midwest Sheep and Goat Market Report. I'm Susan Littlefield on the Rural Radio Network. Well, compared to last week, traditional slaughter lambs were 5 to $9 lower, others mostly from 5 to 30 lower. Slaughter ewes mostly steady to 10 higher. Feeder lambs were 5 lower. In San Angelo, Texas, 8,877 heads sold. In a two-day sale, Equity Cooperative Auction sold 680 slaughter lambs in Idaho. And the direct trading slaughter ewes and feeder lambs were not tested. 4,192 lamb carcasses traded with no trend due to confidentiality. As we take a look at the San Angelo, this is Slaughter Lamb's Choice in Prime, Wold and Shorn. 110 to 150 brought 186 to 206. Fort Collins, Colorado, Wold and Shorn. Weighing from 100 to 140 brought 170 to 200. 150 to 175 is 175 to 187. 50. Let's go over to South Dakota or Wold and Shorn. 100 to 150 pounders were 170 to 190, 150 to 170 at 161 to 171. Kelowna, Iowa, Wold and Shorn, 100 to 140 pounders, 160 to 215. 150 to 165 brought 150 to 180. In the slaughter lamb market, hair sheep out of San Angelo will be 40 to 60 pounders, 270 to 306. They did have a few bringing 310 to 312. 60 to 70 pounders, 240 to 296. 70 to 80 pounders, 226 to 276. With a few, 280 to 296. Wold and Shorn from 80 to 90 pounds, 228 to 223. A few brought 252, and those 94 pounders brought 224. In Kelowna, Wold and Shorn, 40 to 50 pounders were from 300 to 335, 50 to 60 pounders, 260 to 275, with a few 337, 50 to 350, 60 to 70 pounders, 240 to 250, a few at 335, 70 to 80 pounders, 214 to 250. Now looking at their Wold and Shorn out of South Dakota, 60 to 70 pounders, 250 to 265, 70 to 80, 225 to 255, 90 to 100 pounds, or 181 to 200. Hair, 56 pounders at 285, two, some 60 to 70 pounders, 257 to 265, the 80 to 90 pounders, 187 to 205. Well, let's do a breakdown of some of the individual markets now. First to the Kelowna Sheep and Goat Auction. Compared to last week, slaughter lambs, 50 to 90 pounders, were 15 higher, over 90 pounds, or 10 lower. Hair sheep were from 20 to 30 higher, slaughter ewes, 10 higher. Hair ewes were stronger, slaughter bucks firm with a stronger undertone. There was no trend for goats, which did not get on last report. Trade activity demand was considered good on all those offerings. Now we'll head over to St. Ange Newell in Newell, South Dakota. No trend can be made for the first sale of 2024. The last three weeks ago, a smaller but nice offering sold on some good demand. Higher undertones were noted on killer ewes and feeder lambs with active bidding from the seats and on the Internet. Snow still covered the ground in the area from the Christmas Eve snowfall and colder, more seasonal temperatures have set in. Supply included 75% of feeder sheep lambs, 100% were lambs, 20 slaughter sheep lambs. The breakdown was 97% were used, 3% were buck, uh, 5% replacement sheep and lambs. That is 100% considered used. Now let's head over and take a look at the Sioux Falls Regional Livestock Auction at Worthing, South Dakota. Slaughter lambs in the 100-pound range were $10 higher. Slaughter ewes were mostly 5 to 10 lower. The supply included on this is 8% were feeder lambs. Now 99% lambs, 1% considered hair lambs. 52% slaughtered sheep and lambs. Broke down as 76% wool and shorn. 9% were hair. 14% ewes, uh, no hair ewes. 1% were bucks with no hair bucks. As for the replacement sheep, 100% of those were ewes at 1%. Slaughter goats. Uh, considered 67% on the kids, 20% nannies, does were 2%, bucks and billies at 11% on the weathers. And the replacement goats were considered at 100% on the nannies and the does. In those slaughter goats, we had three head that weighed 38 pounds brought in at 155. Here again, this is out of Worthing, South Dakota, that 18 head ranging from 52 to 58 brought 310 to 340. 85 pounders brought 280. Over on the 23 head of 42 pound goats, 285 were averaging. In the nannies, here's 12 head that weigh from 100 to 130. Uh, we'll bring from 190 to 200. Their average price then is 194.78. And finally, as we wrap up the report for today, we're going to look at this week for the lamb and veal on the retail side. Activity index was considered at 20.27% lower. Feature rate was 0.7% lower. And special rate was 0.3% lower. Lamb cuts on offer were 28.99% lower. 
And looking at the roast offerings, 75.28% lower, while chop offerings were at 102.86% higher. Lamb Features offered more ad space for shoulder chops, boneless leg, and stew meat. Also wanted to let our sheep producers from a wool perspective know that the USDA's Commodity Credit Corporation announced that the marketing assistant loan rates for 24 crop grade wool by micron classes. Now, the loan rates for ungraded wool are unchanged and remain the same from the prior crop year. Marketing assistant loans and loan deficiency payments, which are marketing tools available to producers upon harvest or shearing, are available for grade wool, ungraded wool, and mohair. Unshored pelts are eligible for LDPs only, and the unshorn pelt LDP rate is based on the ungraded wool LDP rate multiplied by the average weight of the unshorn pelt. That's about 6.865 pounds. So here's a rate per pound clean basis for graded wool. Less than that 18.6 micron at 443, 6 to 19.5 microns, 393, 6 to 20 and a half microns, 364, 6 to 22 microns at 343, 1 to 23.5 microns at $3.18, 6 to 25.9 microns at 227, 26 to 28.9 microns at $1.04, and 29 microns and higher at 76 cents. The loan rate for ungraded wool will remain at 40 cents per pound on a greasy basis. Marketing Loan Assistance provides producers interim financing to harvest time to meet the cash flow. If you'd like more information on that, you're encouraged to contact your local FSA service center. Not a lot of goat information available this week, but that's a look to your weekly sheep and goat report here on the Rural Radio Network.